Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose. And I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. If you ever wanted to book a private reading with me, just go to EliteRoseTarot.com or you can look in the description description and click the link and if you ever wanted to uh, sign up for my free newsletter just look in the description and click the link you already got somebody wanting to give you a message here um sometimes i stay awake thinking about you you came closer than anyone i know that i crossed the line with you i don't react when people mention you i wish i could take my words back you were the best thing in my life and i love you Finding out the truth hurt me at the bottom of the deck. So uh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna put some tarot on this because this is kind of like somebody confessing something to you. Um, whoever they are, whoever this is, they know that they crossed the line with you. They try to act like you weren't as important as you were in their life because they're saying you were the best thing in my life. But they're also saying, I don't react when people mention you. Um, this person thinks about you a lot at night and they still love you and they're saying you came closer than anyone so what is going on here you got temperance coming out with family and walking away it looks like somebody didn't understand somebody else's experience from their past um and let me not just go ahead and jump hold on let me just make sure because exactly this person doesn't really understand and only take this story if it resonates they don't understand who you are and what you've been through and the things that you've had to walk away from this person may be materialistic you're you're not um material things don't hold you you have a certain level of balance because you've gone through a life change a serious life change you have temperance death and strength your whole belief system changed and it was your strength that brought you through all that time of darkness where you've had to leave things behind um only because you had to get a certain level of balance back in your life to regain your strength to be able to carry out these new beliefs you know um <laughs> i don't know why my question is I, I was going to ask, like, because this, you come up very healed and very much learning the experience. You know what the point was, you know, you, you got the assignment, you figured it out, you passed. But then we have this person <laughs> that comes up as the fool, um, someone who is healing, someone who is learning the life lessons. I was going to ask what made you give them a chance. Um, Maybe that's me getting too much in your business. Let me see here. Only because like, I, I think you saw the, the, the word that comes to mind is beauty. You saw that person's soul, like you saw them. Um, this may have been a time when you were in hermit mode and this person came around. I don't think you were, you had a really, this is the thing, like, you had to have saw this person's soul because you gave them a chance regardless of them fumbling the ball here. Um, you have a, maybe, how do I say this? It's something about the choices that you make where you're holding on too tight. That's how that's coming off. Um, and this could be, if this is present, you have choices don't hold on to someone just because you're afraid of not having choices anymore is how that's coming up and that's how these people get in sometimes is your vulnerability um preying on something that they know you it's a soft spot for you you know what i mean so i think when you do take the leap and go into a relationship you really got to be able to see that person you got to be able to really love that person because you are so loyal you're loyal to a fault and you'll hold on to that choice that you made because it's like, it's got to work. It's got to go, you know, it's got to do what I think it's going to do. And it ends up hurting you in the long run. Um, now I feel like you are back in hermit mode. This person moved way too slow with their love offering. Um, and now they wish they could take their words back. They think about you at night. You're the only person that came as close. They caused the, the, the issue. 
Um, why? You met this person during a time when they were breaking up with someone else and they were completely blocked. And here you come kind of like uh, inspiration. You know what I mean? You didn't do it on purpose, um, but that's possibly how you saw them um, because you saw their heart and you saw the vulnerability in them. Why is this five of swords here? This person kept fighting you on a new beginning. Hmm. This person was blocked in a lot of ways. Um, whoever the person, whoever they were with prior to being with you. And again, only take this if it resonates, please. Like only take this if it resonates. Whoever they were with before you, they had just ended it, but they still were holding on to it. They should have been alone because now this person is acting as if they don't want something that maybe they were making you think they did in the beginning. Because you have the fool here with the four swords, seven of cups. This person knows you have choices. But I think this person got in on a technicality. Some, something kind of, I don't know. Maybe you both were vulnerable at that time. I don't know. This person has a lot of uh, mental conflict. You're, oh Lord. <laughs> okay, this person, and it, it could be you or this person. I'm laughing because if it's you, you're like, this person is going through a spiritual awakening and I'm getting the hell away from them. <laughs> if it's not, if this is you, you're going through a spiritual awakening and you're getting the hell away from this person. Either way, it's just like you have a subconsciously, you really know what's going on. You got to trust your intuition more because you are so into, you are tapped in, you know what's going on. Now, if it resonated in that way, if you realize this person is going through a spiritual awakening and you're like, I can't be bothered with that, you're absolutely right. Because it is life-changing energy. It's life-changing energy for this person because again, now they're realizing the type of person they want in their life, which was you. Um, and now you've set the bar kind of high. But either way, you've already gone through this and you're like, I'm not going to sit around and wait until you decide <laughs> what life is for you. Good luck. I hope it works out because I understand spiritual awakening is shit. It can be something crazy. I've gone through it myself, but I will not be on the ride with you, sweetie. I've already done mine. You know, that's how that's coming up. Queen of Cups, absolutely. I'm at that two of wands. I'm waiting for my ships to come in. I'm waiting for the things that I put into fruition to come in. I really can't wait around for your spiritual awakening to come in. It's like, I can't wait until that comes into fruition. That has everything to do with you. That has nothing to do with me, which I'm saying this because you are extremely emotionally mature. Like you are really, at, like people really can't fuck with you when it comes to your emotional intelligence because they try to hide their intentions from you and it, it's there. It's almost like neon lights on them, their intentions. And what makes you mysterious at times is that you don't tell them you already know what their intentions are. You just want to see them carry it out. You want to see if they actually going to carry it out. Maybe my intuition is wrong. Nope. And then they carry it out and you're not surprised. And it's because you're extremely emotionally intelligent. You watch people in a lot of different ways. Um, <laughs> but either, either way, you're just like, I, I can't, not right now. This person is, is flipping now. Um, <sighs> now they feel as though they lied to themselves about what it is that they wanted from you and they don't blame you for walking away because now they get that they kind of, they sabotage this themselves. This had nothing to do with you. This had everything to do with them not being able to get through their emotions, you know, and figure it out because it's, it's something about they, I don't know. I, I can't, even, I, I'm not even going to say that, but everybody processes things differently. You're just at that point where you don't, you're not very spontaneous, not spontaneous, impulsive. You're less, you're not as impulsive as this person person is very impulsive they do things on a whim rather than getting all the information and figuring it out and looking at well if I choose this this will happen 
if I choose this, this will happen. Like they can't really think 10 steps ahead like that. And you're very, very well, you, you do it without, a, without hesitation. That's pretty much how you learn to move, especially in love. Um, they don't want you to go. This person wants to have a talk with you. They want to chat. Again, like I said, waiting for your ships to come in. You're like, I'm, I'm busy. I have shit to do. This person has a tendency to love bomb you a lot. So when they do come around, it's great. They want to, you know, everything is wonderful. And then they switch. This is why you don't really want to see what's up. Um, this person watches you a lot. And why heartbroken? They feel like you're going to turn your back on them for someone who really wants you. Someone who has self-discipline. Someone who's already gone through this awakening. Someone who wants what you want, ultimately. Um, this person wants you back. They feel like you're blocking your romantic feelings for them. Why is this? Finances. You're extremely attractive when you're working on yourself. So this person thought the grass was greener on the other side. Could have treated you like you was just a hookup. Manipulated a lot of the situation. Um, I don't blame you for walking away from whatever this was. This was kind of messy. This person still has a lot of lessons to learn. What's next when it comes to this? They have a lot of lessons to learn. And you're just like, I do not have the time for this shit here. You're in no contact with this person. Damn, all of these came out in reverse. You know, their intuition is blocked. They can't see what they have. What they had was love. Why queen of swords in reverse? You're kind of acting, you're being extremely cold towards them. Yeah. <laughs> you're being extremely cold towards this person. Um, you're coming in with a flighty in and out energy and you're pretend, not pretending, but you are moving as if you're single and you're not interested in this person anymore. And it's got them kind of in a mental trap when it comes to you. Because, again, you'll be the one that got away. This person also could have been entertaining other people. Yeah. Which kind of um, had your, your intuition up and running anyway. Because you felt like, okay, why the one minute you were... If this person love bombed you a lot one minute they were with you the next minute they were gone and you kind of felt it that was why they were out doing their thing i can't say anything for sure or who they were with but they were they were acting as if they weren't in a relationship which is why you act like you're not in one now because it didn't it's, it's almost like a waste of your time is how i want to say that but now that it's like it's it's funny how the tables turn it's crazy because now I guess this person wanted you to chase them. Now they seem to be energetically chasing you, trying to get back into your good graces, trying to see, like, test your temperature. Are we good? You know, can I still la da 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 Like, this person is, um, I don't know, too much back and forth with this one. This one is going through a spiritual awakening. It's too much. I, don't, I, I understand why you like that's just too much work. I'm not about to do all of that. The star, three of pentacles, and a hierophant, what you want is a high level commitment, something that you don't have to hide, something that you can celebrate with friends, something that, you know, is divinely guided, um, something that is pure on both ends. Like you both want the same thing. I see two people coming together. That is what you want. This is not designed to be that. And I think you're taking accountability for it when it comes to your love life. You can literally, you're taking accountability uh, for the people that you go towards in your love life because you know you have free will with the lovers being here You know you have free will you don't have to deal with anything you don't want to fucking deal with is reality You really don't especially when it comes to a three of swords um, If you are thinking is this the reason? <laughs> all of a sudden you're not around all of a sudden I can't get a hold of you it absolutely Looks like they were entertaining someone else um, while trying to figure out if they wanted to be with you. Like, <sighs> trying to give, even give and take to both situations. This person could be a people pleaser, trying to make sure everybody is happy and lost in the end. 
because what they want is a new beginning with you. But you're at that point where you're like, I need to work on my own new beginning. I don't need to work on a beginning with you anymore. Um, you change your perception about what time means to you. I, it's something about you feel like this person wasted your time. Yeah. And so now you're putting time back into your money, back into your business, back into your job, back into your career, back into whatever this is that brings you find, uh, income. You're putting back energy into that i guess or energy back into that the hangman here with the wheel of fortune you know this is coming to an end and you're changing your perception when it comes to this person too where you're even like kind of letting yourself know this has come to an end like i've gone as far as i could go with this person i'm gonna let fate handle the rest um especially when there are other situations going on i'm gonna let fate handle that but i'm gonna change my perception when it comes to myself because i know that i'm worth it and i know that the person that I want to be with wouldn't ignore you, wouldn't kind of pretend as if um, they wanted you in the next minute, they're ghosts, they're nowhere to be found. Like, that's just not the way to treat you and you didn't deserve that because you came into this with the right idea. You came in with the right attitude, but it just felt like this person completely took you for granted and um, really just fucked it up. I mean, they kind of just fumbled the ball. That's the best I could say. Um, and there's there's no, I can't pull a backstory really on you. Like you were like, maybe you weren't giving them the right signals or no. It just, it just seems like this person really tried to juggle you or put you on a back burner as if that was gonna work and they didn't know who you were. You are not that type of person. Like if you're not giving time to the situation, I'm not gonna give time to the situation. I think that's how you're, energy is and you're just like i'm too disciplined when it comes to this shit i don't know this felt like child play abundance is here um i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality absolutely because you're coming up as a king of pentacles and you're like i'm going to focus especially now coming towards the end of the year going into the new year i'm focusing on what i need to make sure is solid everything else when it comes to love is so um you can't really call it like you can't determine everything that's going to happen but one thing you can determine right here is how firm you got this foundation going and i think you're pushing more towards that because that's really giving you your return back on your investment um perseverance is here i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to absolutely like you're setting it in stone like i will succeed this year watch me i'm going to do everything i set out to do this year and patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Absolutely. Have patience with your business. Have patience with your career. Have patience with the creations that you're making because it will do exactly what you need it to do in divine timing. Um, and have patience when it comes to your love life, you know, because everybody's not going to be the one, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you just take the lesson and you move the fuck on from it. That's all you can do. You know what I mean? But I don't see you not dating. I just see you kind of pushing your career your abundance first right now um and just making sure that you're secure in that way um but just have patience when it when it comes to indecision use your intuition please rely on your intuition more because it tells you everything okay um and forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love i would forgive this person i just wouldn't forget you know what i mean like they have a, again this person has a tendency of love bombing you so i wouldn't forget how they operate but I would forgive and just walk away because it, you don't want it to turn your heart cold where you don't go after love anymore, okay? Like seriously, this person can't block love for you. You got happiness at the bottom of the deck, but you don't see coming as I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So putting towards your business, putting towards your abundance, putting towards your family, yourself, that makes you happy right now. Shit, this person thought the grass was green on the other side, they're learning a lesson. It is what it is. When you treat somebody like a hookup, they will disconnect just as quickly. Now they know your cutoff game is not one to fuck with. Like, seriously, I'm going to pull one more message from this person. I'm going to get up out of here. I mean, I just feel like this person was playing a dumbass game with a grown ass adult. And it doesn't make any sense because now you're kind of looking at them crazy. Like, the fuck? Um, I feel you leaving me behind. I'm going to leave it there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.